this week's show, we're going to be looking at follow-up and why it's so important for people who are networking and for people in sales. So one of the key skills of an effective networker is follow-up. And also for salespeople in general. Interesting facts here is over 3% of people that you meet are actually in the market for your service now. So following up ensures you at least move the sales process forward. 7% of people will be open to the possibilities of doing a sale. 30% of people will be open to your product in the future. 30% of people don't know that they actually need your service yet, but there's a possibility of a sale in the future. And 30% of people will never use your service anyway. That is a big percentage of people that we're losing out on if we never follow up. Now, interestingly, 81% of people, if we put that together, will actually close with you between 5th and 12th follow-up. So my question is, are you following up with the people you meet at networking and even in sales calls? Because guess what? 85% of people never follow up more than once or twice, they give up. So what are you doing? This week on Dr. Phil, we've got a question from Alex, who's based in Dubai. He has a company called We Are Alive, and they do animation products. Does some great work, so check him out. And he says to me, Phil, you know, it's interesting. I meet a lot of people who are new to business, and some of them don't think they need a website. What's your advice? I said, well, you know, Alex, having a website is number one, a great portal for marketing your business. More importantly, it adds to your credibility. Because in the referral process, one of the first things people do after they're referred to you is go out and check out the website. If they get to the website and it doesn't exist, if there's a holding page, or if the website is ineffective, what does that say about the credibility of the person who's been referred? So absolutely, look to get in a decent website as part of your marketing strategy.